Right guys, today we're going to upgrade the ESXi from uh, 7.0 to 8.0. Now I already have downloaded uh, the ISO for uh, ESXi 8.0 and uh, I have created a bootable disk. I have already put that bootable disk on my ESXi host. So from here, this is the host that I'm going to upgrade. It's on 7.0 update 3. So what I'm going to do is to access the host through my ILO interface. So there we go, I will just fire this up. So there we go, I will just press the F12 button to shut down or to restart basically. Put my root password. And just uh, select to force terminate the VMs and click Press on F11 button to restart. This process, I will interrupt my booting process by pressing F11 to enable me to select my boot device. So there we go. At this point in time, you can see I really have an ESXi here as the first boot. But in this instance, so I'm booting from the generic USB boot. Click on that. So here we will press the enter key, uh, press F11 to accept and continue. Yeah, it will scan your system. And uh, from what you can see, it has found out that we have two logical drives. Uh, this is where my ESXi 7.0 is uh, installed. This is my data store, and this is the pen drive. So in this instance, we are going to do the installation on the first logical drive. Basically, we are going to override what is already existing. So select that option and press enter button. Now, in this case, I'm going to do an upgrade. So I will not choose this nor this. My option is the first one. Then press the enter button. So, so there we are. I'm going to do. It's clearly telling me that I'm going to do an upgrade from ESXi 7.0.3 uh, to ESXi 8.0.0 on that particular drive at this point. So basically, I just click on F11 to confirm my choice and begin the process. So there we go, guys. The upgrade process is complete, and you can see that I've upgraded to 8.0. Uh, successfully. What I need to do now is to go to uh, the physical host, remove the pen drive, and then I'll come over here and press the enter button and the system will reboot and complete the process. So there is my pen drive. I have removed it from the host. I just need now to click on the enter button and it will reboot. So there we are. Our system is ready. What we'll do now is just to access it through that uh, URL. So there we are. I will log in with my root password and click on login. And there we are. So before it was 7.0.3 and now we are on 8.0. So thank you for watching along. I hope the video has been useful to you. Consider subscribing and click the like button for more of such videos. And I will see you in the next one.